Nursing homes in small towns are sometimes the only resource for its aging residents and serves as an employer for many in the area. However, three nursing homes in South Dakota have closed in the last three years, and two more are likely to close in 2019. Kelly and Sarah McDonald stopped by one of the towns that could face a closure. It's unfortunate. You know, it really is. It's very unfortunate. The Madison Care and Rehabilitation Center is one of the nursing homes facing potential closure. For the town of just over 7,000 people, Madison's mayor, Roy Lindsay, says the community will feel an impact. It always affects a community in that when you lose a business, you know, and when you have a business here that's taking care of the elderly, uh, it makes it especially more traumatic from the standpoint that you have people that don't have the opportunity to make the decisions for themselves or where they're going to be next. As for the people that work at the facility, Lindsay says there are options for them. We do have a job service office here in town who has reached out and, uh, you know, visited with people uh, to show them, you know, the opportunities that are there, whether it's to find a job directly or whether or not it's to uh, get some assistance in that in retraining for something new and a new uh, job. A closure that could not only have an impact now, but also in the future. I don't see that the uh, situation is going to get easier anytime in the future because the need for nursing uh, services are going to increase as the baby boomers enter that, those uh, need areas and as they age. In Madison, Sarah McDonald, Kelloland News. A nursing home in Mobridge is also likely to close by February of 2019. For a closer look at why nursing homes are at risk of closing their doors, we've put a link with this story at kelloland.com.